This is Bomani, a martial eagle. The largest African eagle, they have enough power in one foot to break a human arm. As powerful as they are, their strength in numbers continues to decrease in the wild. Martial eagles weigh in at around 14 pounds, with a wingspan up to eight and a half feet. Bomani is native to sub-Saharan Africa, preferring open woods, wooded savanna and thornbush habitats. He is an apex predator, sitting at the top of the avian food chain. Unfortunately, they are being persecuted by humans, mistakenly believed to be a predatory threat to livestock. In reality, domestic animals make up a very small percentage of their diet. Add to that a shrinking habitat, which reduces prey, the martial eagle population is dwindling fast. This is the martial eagle. This is Camaria, a milky eagle owl. The largest African owl, it is found throughout sub-Saharan Africa. The eagle in their name refers to their large size. Females are much larger than males, sometimes over a third bigger. They feed on a large variety of animals, everything from mammals, fish, rodents, and even large birds. They hunt from a perch, using their sharp vision to spot prey before flying in and seizing them with their powerful talons. While it is a dominant bird, its population has seen a decline due to a combination of loss of suitable habitat, hunting, disease and drought. Their slow reproductive rate has made it difficult for the population to recover quickly. This is the Milky Eagle Owl. This is Olivia, an East African crowned crane. She is stunning. She stands about four feet tall with a wingspan of six and a half feet. Her legs are long and slender, perfect for wading through grassy areas. Mostly gray, the wings are predominantly white with a range of colors while her head is full of golden feathers. East African crowned cranes are well known for their elaborate dancing. These cranes are omnivores, eating everything from plants to insects, snakes, small fish and more. Native to eastern sub-Saharan Africa and down to South Africa, they prefer living in grassland areas near the water. The crowned crane is the national bird of Uganda, featured on its flag. But even with such iconic status, we're losing them. In less than 10 years, their population has decreased by over 50%. Habitat loss and illegal removal of eggs and birds from the wild are its biggest threats. This is the East African crowned crane. This is Lily, an African penguin. She's a jackass. No, really, African penguins are commonly known as jackass penguins. Their nickname comes from the donkey-like sounds they make. But they're no donkey. These little guys grow up to only a little over two feet and weigh up to eight pounds. They are only found on the southwestern coast of Africa, where they are a popular site for tourists. However, experts say that if their population decline isn't stopped, they'll be extinct in 15 years. You see, African penguins are pursuit divers and feed mostly on fish and squid. But because of competition from commercial fishing, they have to go further and further to find enough to eat. That, combined with encroaching human development, poaching for eggs and oil spills are all taking a toll on its population. This is the African penguin. This is Amali. She's an addict. 
She's also a new mum. Her calf Adeline is just three weeks old and she's very important because the Addix is a critically endangered species. The Addix is a native of the Sahara Desert and once roamed over vast areas of North Africa. They're also known as the Screwhorn Antelope. It's easy to see why. They're extremely well adapted to life in the desert. Their white coats reflect the scorching sun and their splayed hoofs are perfectly tailored for traversing desert sands. The Addix can also survive extremely long periods without water. But these adaptations are no help against humans. The Addix has been hunted nearly into oblivion. Estimates put their population at less than 200 individuals in just a few pockets of the Sahara. Luckily, reintroduction efforts and captive breeding programs, like the one that produced little Adeline, are helping the survival of this species that has all but disappeared from the face of the earth. This is the Addix. This is Juba, an eastern black rhino. Coming in at around 2,690 pounds, big is an understatement. But with less than 740 left in the wild, the eastern black rhino is one of the rarest rhinos in the world. Juba is 20 years old and stands close to 12 feet long. They are solitary animals with an aggressive disposition to discourage predators. They may seem tranquil, but they will charge first and investigate later. Black rhinos are browsers and eat leafy plants, branches, shoots and whatever else they can find in the highland and savanna habitats. His large ears can rotate to pick up sounds from many directions. Today, eastern black rhinos are only left in Kenya and Tanzania. The population has declined by 90% over the last three generations. The biggest threat for these guys are humans, as poaching has absolutely devastated their population. This is the eastern black rhino. This is Koda, a three-year-old African cheetah. Critically endangered, less than 8,000 remain in the wild. The African cheetah is built for speed. It's the world's fastest land animal, clocking zero to 60 miles per hour in a mere 3.4 seconds. Long and lean with a flexible spine, they use their tail as a rudder, steering when running after prey. They stalk their prey under the bright sun of the African savanna. The tear marks that run across their face help reflect the glare of the sun, much like football players apply paint beneath their eyes before a game. They once roamed across all of Africa, but today are found in less than a quarter of their historic range. Habitat loss, poaching and loss of prey are all threats to this beautiful cat. This is the African cheetah. This is Zawadi, an African lion. These stunning big cats are Africa's apex predator. They once roamed most of Africa and parts of Europe and Asia. But today, they are only found in parts of Sub-Saharan Africa. Zawadi is a male lion, indicated by his large mane. Lions are considered the only social member of the cat family and live in large groups called prides. Females do most of the hunting and work in teams, ambushing their prey. Their importance to the ecosystem is paramount, playing a key role in the food chain, controlling herbivore populations. But while they are the alpha predators, they face threats of their own. A combination of trophy hunting and habitat loss has cut their population in half over the past two decades. This is the African lion.
This is an African elephant, the largest land mammal in the world. So large that it dwarfed our backdrop. While conservation efforts have made significant gains, the threat of poaching still looms over the future of this giant species. Distributed through the deserts and jungles of sub-Saharan Africa, their large ears radiate heat to keep cool in the African sun. They eat a lot. Everything from roots, fruits, grasses and bark. And up to 600 pounds of it a day. The tusks are firm teeth used for digging roots, stripping bark from trees and for fighting and defending themselves. Unfortunately, these ivory tusks can fetch quite a price on the black market. Poaching for the illegal ivory trade continues to be a devastating problem. This is the African elephant.